The national government will invest 200 million kina starting this year to support small to medium enterprises in the country. Prime Minister Pete O'Neill announced this at the launch of the SMA policy and master plan last night in Port Moresby. Mr O'Neill said the SME and agriculture sectors are the backbone of the country's economy and the government will continue to support these sectors to grow. Gabriel Bego with more on this story and the launching of the SME policy and master plan. It is a policy that is going to change. This is the first of its kind gathering attended by the representatives from the small to medium enterprises with government officials and members of parliament at the Sezon Guys Indo Stadium in Port Mosby last night. The launch of the first ever policy on the small to medium enterprises and the master plan for SME 2016 to 2030. Prime Minister, this evening, the policy that you are about to launch, in my view, contains the dreams and aspirations of your own people, the people of this country. Speaking at this event, Prime Minister Peter O'Neill announced the government will support this sector. When you say our key policies, infrastructure, law and order, education, free education. And the fifth one is growing the economy. How do we grow the economy? Through SME. Agriculture, tourism, SME. Those are the key sectors of our economy. Our government will put 200 million kina starting this year. 200 million kina starting this year for SME projects and agricultural projects in the country. Prime Minister O'Neill's announcement also touched on the agriculture sector and our government will mobilize resources to support these two sectors. Over the next few weeks, Minister Maru, myself and Mr. Tomsko will sit down and reorganize the agriculture bank. We will make sure we recapitalize that together with the other subsidiaries so that it can truly lend to Papua New Guineans over the next few years. With the launch of the policy and the master plan, sets the sector's way forward and the target is to have at least 500,000 SMEs by 2030. Prime Minister O'Neill has also announced that government will legislate to protect local SMEs and reserve business leases for locals while revive the straight passing store scheme and agriculture extension programs. Gerald Bego, NBC National News, Port Mosby.